That's correct. It's 4.35 in the morning. Uh, we're getting up right now. We're gonna be going for a walk. I think about seven, seven miles. So Maya's cousin, she does this every Saturday. So sure, we decided to join her this Saturday. So it should be pretty interesting. Taking you guys along for the ride. Let's go. I got biscotti and froze. Big boss like I'm rose. I see one these as a dome. Low baddie and she homemade. Right my city at the home. All right, we are on our way. Just got here and did a little warm up. And now we're going to walk. I'm looking down because I don't want to step on something. But uh, we're doing a seven mile walk today. We're going to be walking. I don't know. We're following them wherever they go. But uh, should be fun. We chevere. Early in the morning. Still about probably about five in the morning. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hey, motel. Okay. It's easy. <laughs> nice. Motel. ¿Qué es motel, no? No entiendo. <laughs> no. No hay motel allá. Yeah, no. Estados Unidos, no. Look at that talk about. Dos horas, si? Ven también. Emociones. Alright. So, you might find this interesting in Colombia, but they have motels where you drive in and it's discreet. So, no one knows where you, who you are. There's another one up here, another motel. Okay, so let me explain this whole motel situation. So I was walking with Elenis, and Elenis is Maya's cousin, and she, and I, I talked about a motel. I said, hey, that, that's a motel, right? That's a motel. Now, I had no idea what that was uh, prior to coming to Colombia, uh, or prior to my last trip to Colombia, because in this region, they have a lot of motels. And the motels, the way that they're situated, and the, the best way that I can explain it is it looks like a storage, kind of one of those big storage uh, facilities where you can go and you can store your stuff and they have the roll-up garages. That's what it looks like from the outside. And so my friends were telling me, and this is prior to us going on this walk, they were telling me, yeah, these motels, the way that they work is you drive into the motel and then the roll-up garage will roll up for you. You drive in and you park and your hotel room is right there. You never have to have any contact, any physical contact. No one sees you when, when you go to the motel. So you drive in, you drive into the garage, you park your car, you go into the motel, you pay the money. So you pay money through and it's, everything is discreet. So they don't, you don't see anyone when you're paying the money. I guess you just put the money wherever it goes in a little uh, drop box or something. And then you stay there, and then when you're ready to leave, the garage door rolls up, you back out, and you leave. And the reason that they have it like this is because they want it to be as discreet as possible. Now, you have to understand, in this community, it's a very small community, so everyone knows everyone. Now, in the U.S., we have motels, but I never really thought of them that way. I just thought of a motel as just being cheaper than a hotel. And it's quicker access. You can kind of get in, you can get out. So I guess it's similar uh, in Colombia that way. But... We don't have motels where you drive in and you drive into a garage and then you park your car and then you can get go into the the hotel or the motel room. In our situation, you just park right out front and then you go in and people can see you and plus you have to go to the front desk and pay and all that. Elenis didn't know that I knew about motels and I was trying to play play a little dumb about, oh, what, motel, I don't know, no entiendo, that, that kind of stuff, just to kind of get her reaction. Hey, motel. <laughs> It's easy. <laughs> nice. And you saw what her reaction was. But it's very, very interesting. These motels are very, very interesting. We go to another motel, and you can get a better a picture of what I'm saying. Uh, and you can see that there's actually, you drive in, and there's these big roll-up garage doors that you drive 
uh, drive your car in. So here's another hotel. Paris. Motel Paris. This is the hotel. And you drive in there and no one knows who you are. So, so they have those everywhere in this area. Everybody watch that. Hola, oh, Elenis. Hola, hola, Elenis. Hi, baby. Hi, hi, Inglés. Look at these little kids. Get these kids on a motorcycle. You see that everywhere. Little kids on a motorcycle. So we are about halfway, halfway done. I don't know if we're doing the full seven miles now. I think they're gonna change it a little bit because of, I think there's some small children with us. So we might end up doing a little shorter, a little shorter route. But so far so good. I feel good. Short, the one. Short. You see, uh, see. ¿Cuántos kilómetros son ahora, señor? No importa para mí. Que no importa para ti. Eh, no importa, ¿eh? Mira, ¿eh? Mira, ¿eh? Mira, ¿eh? Mira, ¿eh? Marcado. All right, we are. Okay, I'm going to say we're halfway now i'm not sure but we're we're getting there so we've been walking along this road the whole time and you see all the people behind me they do this every saturday every saturday they come out and do this walk and it's men women children all do this this walk now i think we were going to go seven miles but i think they're actually going to shorten it just a little bit so we're gonna continue to walk and we should end up at the beach. That's that's the uh, the end destination. But we got up at four in the morning and and we've been walking for probably about, I would say about an hour so far. And once we get there, um, hopefully it won't be too hot. That's the problem. You have to get up early in the morning because it gets really, really hot. Probably 95, 100 degrees. So you wanna make sure you get out before it gets that hot because you don't want to be walking in that kind of a weather so yeah we're we're on our way and it's cool because you see all these ladies in pink so we're here because maya's maya's cousin does this every saturday so she's the one that told us hey you need to come do this with us so i'm like yeah of course shoot a video about it yeah that sounds good so Anyway, we'll be on our way in a little bit. We're just taking a rest and uh, we'll get walking again. There is the water right in front of us. We got to the sea. Now we just need to walk up the beach. Just don't know how far. Hey. The sand. <laughs> No cansado. Muy sabrosa. Muy chévere. Muy chévere. Look at these little houses. This is beachfront property right here. They live right on the water. People just burn trash. So they just burn trash, huh, Maya? Yeah. <laughs> so that's normal. We got a guy out here fishing. Out in the water here. Ay. Muy hermosa. Hermosa. Fishing boats right here. There's somebody building a, a nice mansion right there. Big house. And we're at our next point. Okay. 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 
All right, we have reached the beach. Hey, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. We are gonna hike. Think we need to wait? Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Yeah, waiting for you. Oh, he's taking pictures. Elia, Elia, don't they, Elia? Hey! So from the beach to the desert. We're about three miles in, back to the beach. So we're going in and out, looping in and out to the beach and then come back out to the road and back to the beach because there's some areas of the beach we can't just walk straight through. But this is fun, this is a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it. I, w I was hating myself at four in the morning, but now it's about, about 7.30 and I feel good, nice breeze. It still hasn't gotten too hot yet. The sun is out, but it's not, it's not too hot. So that's good. And so we're gonna go to the next little point here where we're gonna stop and rest a little bit. And then we'll keep it moving. So we continue to go in and out of these small towns. So we'd go out to the beach, we'd come back in, we'd go through a small town, we'd go back out to the beach, then we'd come back in and we'd go through these small towns. And we had dogs. At this point, we had probably about 20 dogs that were following us through the town. And it was pretty interesting. If you are afraid of dogs, this is not the walk for you because there were dogs everywhere barking at us. And they, they were pretty harmless, but they were still barking a lot and, and trying to, to let us know that they're there. And walking through these small towns, you really get an idea of how people live. They live in these really small houses and they were very curious, very curious about us, what we were doing there. And uh, the, the people that I walk with, they do this walk every Saturday. Now they might not do the same the same walk, go to the same places. And so this might have been, maybe they haven't been there for a month or two months, but you could see that people were very interested in what we were doing. They could see that we were exercising, we were walking, we had some people that had uh, jerseys on and all that. In a lot of these areas, you need permission to actually walk in the area because it's tribal land. Uh, so anytime we got to a point where there's tribal land, there would be someone out there and they would give us permission uh, to walk through. And you have to have that permission because if you don't, they can find you or they can do pretty much what they want. You're on their land. And so it's very, very important to know. And so if you're doing these walks, if you're going out with people, make sure that they know about this whole situation. Because if you're going out on your own, like if I were to go walking on my own, I would have no idea. And so that's why it's good to walk with a group and it's always good to walk with people who are experienced in that area. So finally we got to the end of the walk and I was really, really happy because I'm not gonna lie to you. We got, we went 13 kilometers, pretty much eight miles. And at the end of that eight miles, I was pretty tired. I was just thinking, okay, I was glad to see. We were, when we were walking in the small little towns, I'm thinking, okay, well, where? I don't see anything familiar. But finally, we got to the inn, and I started seeing some familiar buildings, and I said, okay, I know that we're, we're close to home now. So 
We are done. We are. Finally. So we went 13 kilometers. I think that's like seven miles. So something like 27,000 steps so far. So we're gonna go get something to eat now. But it was fun. We got to walk along the beach. We got to do all this nice stuff. And now we are back, back in the Awacha. And when we got back to the city, the first thing that my friends wanted to do is go have chivo. And chivo is goat. And this is the second time that I tried goat. Now, the first time I tried goat, I tried it at this real fancy restaurant. So it was really, they did a good job of, of disguising the fact that it was goat. And to, to be honest with you, it just tastes like beef to me. And this was the first place I've ever been where they actually slaughter the goat and you eat the goat at the same place. Getting ready to eat some chivo. Goat. Goat for breakfast. So they're actually cutting the goat right here. So it's fresh. And then we just go next door. Right here, and this is where we eat it. Alright, let's go see how they make chivo. Okay, gracias. So this is chivo, goat, and these are arepas. So I am gonna try this for. Actually, I've had I've had goat before, but this is only the second time. So let's try it. Right. We are trying goat for the first. For the the first second time? time, second time. In Colombia, first time? No, second time. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Look at it. Is there like picante or no? So here we go. Nice bite. It's good. Very well seasoned. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. Tastes good. So have a lot of flavor. Very fresh, but it's pretty oh. gamey. Fresh. We just eat it. Gamey, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Super bueno. Muy sabroso. Sabroso. Now this whole experience of getting up at 4.30 in the morning, doing an eight mile walk, and then having goat for lunch, it was, it was exciting. I, I, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification. We're a brand new channel, so we're really trying to promote this. Share this video with others. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. I got biscotti and froze, big boss like I'm rose. Ice and these that's a dome, man. Low baddie and yeah, she homemade. Rap my city at the home game. Up and down and go both ways. And the sprinter is taking up both lanes. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it.